the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. We thank you for your favor upon our lives. Come on, bless his name. Thank you for your mercy, for your wisdom for sparing our lives by your grace. We say thank you. Lord, we bless you. We bless you. I choose to give you thanks. Go ahead and express it unto God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not his benefits, who forgiveth our sins, who healeth our diseases. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a very important kingdom attitude always give thanks. Sometimes we get too familiar with the things that God is doing in our lives. But let me tell you something. Every time you fail to see the faithfulness of God in your life, all he needs to do, can you help me sound please? All he needs to do is to step out. Just step out for one moment. And I know that I am nothing without him. I don't need a preacher, it's a revelation. I know that he's, Steve puts it in no better way than his son. You are my oxygen. You are my daily bread. You are the air that I breathe. Very powerful song. You are my oxygen. You are my daily bread. You are the air that I breathe. There's a part of the song that I love so much. Says, and I, I am desperate for you. And I. One more time with life and understanding. Are you ready now? You are my oxygen. Come on. You are my oxygen. You are the air that I breathe. Don't just get excited. Think about the revelation behind the sun. I'm lost without you. I'm desperate for you. I'm lost without you. The 
tell him, Lord, you are truly everything to me. You are truly everything to me. I want you to become part of your life. Always give God thanks, thanks, thanks. Let it become part of the fabric of your life. Let it become part of the fabric of your life. Always give him thanks. The miraculous power of God flows on the wings of thanksgiving. We're saying thank you for our miracle services, for our services, for your faithfulness. You have kept us. We're celebrating graduates in our midst, celebrating your blessings of life. We thank you for equipping us with your word. Lord, I thank you. And say, I live by the principles of the world. Take this thing serious. Take it very serious. I will not tell you to do things that God didn't direct me. I'd like you to say, I live by the word. My life is founded upon the word. I reject every doctrine and every teaching that does not line up with the principles of the word. Hallelujah. Put it down. I was sharing with, I think there was a time we were having a discussion. Please sit down. We are having a discussion at home and I was saying something. Uh, I think we are talking about um, certain prophets around and their accuracy and all of these things. I, I think I was sharing, we we're just sharing at home and I was saying my concern is not your degree of accuracy. My concern is not how powerful you are. Hallelujah. My concern is how much of the word of God you live by. I've shared it here many times and I'll say it again. That someone walks at you and says, your name is wrote to me. You served in Zamfara State. People just kneel and say, Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not teaching you to be critical. I'm teaching you to be matured so that you can discern spirits. And not make yourself gullible to just anything. The Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. In other words, every manifestation of the spirit in the kingdom should directly glorify Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray that your word will prevail over our minds. I pray that your word will truly, truly, truly change us. You are equipping us and bringing us back to the foundations of truth and the word. You are teaching us the principles that the ancient knew. I pray in the name of Jesus that even as we transit through our lives, you help us to make the word of God the standard for our lives. That we master your principles so much that the new age teachings and the doctrines of devils and demons will not kick us out of the things of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah I once studied a I was just going through several things online and I saw a teaching that gave the man was teaching and I know it was a scripture he took and he was teaching it very falsely and he was making certain decrees that believers have the right to administer salvation to others and I understand because the Bible says whoever sins you forgive is forgiven and all kinds of things and what the person was teaching he was saying that God doesn't forgive anybody since he doesn't do anything. It is left for the believers to choose whether people will be saved or not. 
How do you like that? And it had scriptural backings. And many of us read and say, really? And so it gives room for perversion and living immoral lives and everything. And people say, I have realized that it's within my power to secure my salvation. Your majesty, I can't but bow. And I lay my all before you now. In royal robes that I don't deserve, I leave to serve your majesty. How many of you are truly seeing growth in your spiritual life? Growth and maturity. Let me see your hands, honestly. That you're coming to a point where you know that when God sends you out of this system, you can represent him. That in the next 10 years, when we hear about you, we will hear that you're still living and walking aright. If that is not happening to you, we are failing. Are you listening to me? Whether crowds come until people sit on the zinc, if there is no transformation, then we are failing. And God has helped us to define success properly. That success is not just about crowds coming or people falling and all of these things. That is about the quality of transformation. That if at any time God picks this lady, and send sign to the system she will represent the kingdom with such power and grace if that happens we are truly successful are you listening to me if all that happens is that we celebrate numerical strength and increase and excellence and all of these things and there is no notable transformation that people are breaking free from the shackles of sin and satan and coming to a point where the word of God becomes the priority. Where people are experiencing the blessings, the goodness, the life, the prosperity of the kingdom. Where people are being prepared and equipped to understand who they are and the principles of the kingdom. If that is not happening, then we are failing. Are you listening to me? That's why we took our time to thank God for his faithfulness. time is fast spent very quickly i'll be sharing tonight on a very powerful kingdom principle the creative power of the spoken word the creative power of the spoken word light is shining in the darkness jesus Lord, He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Truly, light is shining in every darkness. Jesus, you are Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God is not just for many believers. We know the word of God to be an instrument. The Bible calls it the sword of the spirit. An instrument against Satan. You know, when Jesus came to tempt Satan, he said, it is written. It is written. And so many of us have come to know the word as an instrument against satan and so on and so forth but i need you to understand that the word of god is not just an instrument for victory against satan hallelujah that the word of god is god's agency for creation the word of god is god's tool for framing realities in this realm it's his principle hebrews chapter 11 very quickly He 
Hebrews chapter 11. Thank you, Jesus. Through faith, we understand that the walls, the systems, were framed by what? The word of God. Follow me. Through faith, we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. It says, so that the things which are seen were not made of things that do appear. In other words, our material realm came into being as a result of a spiritual technology from the supernatural world. Hallelujah. And our understanding of that principle will equip us to create and to frame our world. There are so many people who are waiting for God to create their future for them. When you go to God in his sovereignty, he grants you grace and revelation. How many of you have prayed about a thing and the more you pray, the more God sends you scriptures. You want to see visions and all you see is scriptures. And at the end of the prayer, you feel very bad. You know why? Because the light that comes in that word will help you and will equip you to be victorious. And so the word of God is his creative agency. Hebrews, uh, Paul gives us a, the dynamics of the creation of the universe. It says through faith, we understand that the walls were what? Framed. Framed. They had their physical structure by an activity that involved the word of God. In other words, the smallest unit of every material is not atoms. It's not electrons, neutrons, and protons. It's the word of God. Hallelujah. And something very interesting, I watched a documentary some years ago, and some scientists were trying to rewind the earth. They were trying to backdate the earth to rewind it to two minutes or something so that they would see the formation and they succeeded i can't remember the name of the documentary very powerful documentary and they were even able to rewind the earth according to them to some seconds before whatever i don't know how they did it don't ask me but they said the only thing that the machines and all of this could interpret was heat and light. That was all. No atoms, no electrons, no nothing. So forget about that big bang nonsense. Write it for your exams and pass and go. But I'm telling you, if you need to be victorious in this life, you need to realize that mankind and creation were not a product of two big bangs that came. No. The direct, definite operation of the word of God. And that's what I want to teach us tonight. Hallelujah. The Bible makes us to understand that through faith we understand that the walls were framed. That means your life will only be framed by the word of God. Are you listening to me? The word of God is the creative tool of the father. He uses his word to frame things. Give them frames and reality. Genesis chapter 1, the Bible makes us to understand that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. And it says, now the earth was dark, void, formless, and the spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters. Verse 3. It says, and God said. The Hebrew rendition is, God said, light be. He used the creative power of the word to call the things that were not as though they were. And he framed the recreated earth through the word of God. Hallelujah. There are so many believers who are just waiting for our jobs to recreate our lives. Or our certificates to recreate our lives. I need you to understand that your mouth is not just an instrument of eating food. That every time you take the word of God and put it in your mouth and you release it, it's a technology in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. It brings
brings forth creative power. Everything you see in this auditorium is a product of God's creative power. E and I today, there was a day it was only in the bowels of the spirit. The technology of the spirit brought it into existence and gave it frame. Are you listening to me? This mic came as a product of the creative power of God's word. Your being here tonight was framed together by the creative power of God's word. I, do you believe what I'm teaching you? Because I need us to step out of this place and realize that as believers, it is within our power to create our future and not to sit down and allow things to try to create it. There are many of us that live our lives by chance. It's one song they used to sing and say, whatever will be, will be. No, 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 sir. It doesn't work for believers. It can work in your cartoon. It doesn't work for your life and destiny. So we need to come to a point where we realize that there is a provision, there is a principle that creates realities. The word of God. Hallelujah. So. When Jesus walked upon the earth, the Bible made us understand that he healed them with his word. Created all kinds of things. Called things that were not. Isn't it interesting, hear me friends, that when God calls you, he doesn't give you any physical thing. Nothing. Hallelujah. When God called Abraham, there's no record that animals fell from heaven, three or four, and he said, all right, now go ahead and just move. Isn't it interesting that the first seed God gives you in your life is not money or all of this is, is his word. And he believes that that word is able to translate. Ah, God. I read something about Jacob that scared me. I was, I've been studying what prosperity principle Jacob used that made the animals to reproduce themselves with dark colors by looking at a dark object. Isaac didn't give them anything just left a blessing spoke something that created a man's future and a man's destiny hallelujah there is nothing in this life that the word of God cannot give me hear me whatever the word cannot give you you can't get it if you ever get it it's a mirage run away from it any success that did not come by the word is only a mirage. Soon you will cry. Any lifting, any promotion, any increase that is not a byproduct of the word will not last. And so as believers, God gives us his word so that we are able to frame our future and frame our lives. Hallelujah. For many believers, we just stop at reading the word. By his stripes I am healed. He was made poor so that I will become rich. And all of that. And we just read it and stop there. I want you to know that there is more to the activity of the word of God than just reading it. Are you listening to me? When you study the word of God and it stays in your spirit. You take the word of God and put it upon the lips of faith. And every time you begin to speak God's word. Can I tell you something? Until the word of God is spoken, it cannot release the power and the potency that you need. That's why many people have their Bibles in their homes and they are still suffering as if Jesus Christ didn't die. Because we need to realize that it's more than just looking at your Bible. That you must put the word of God first in your heart. And then the word of God must be released. You don't just speak the word to have faith. Is God's principle of creation. Are you listening to me? Very, very important. The more you realize, friends, that the word of God is an instrument of creation to frame your reality. The Bible said, through faith we understand that the walls were framed 
by the word of God. So I take the word of God and begin to frame my health destiny. Are you listening to me? I pick up God's word and I begin to make decrees under his anointing. I say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, according to God's word, I create a life of health. See, I've said it here, that the word of God does not just reveal your future, it can create one. Are you listening to me? That means when you look at a life that is not consistent with God's word, the word of God can change it. Powerful. Hallelujah. That you sit down and begin to frame your life with God's word. You begin to speak and declare. And say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I will never beg. I will never sit running from hand to mouth. It doesn't matter what my background is. I understand that in the realm of the spirit, the spoken word has creative ability. The only thing that is permitted to go to your future before you is the words you send. And boy, if you send sufficient words to your future, you will find a beautiful future. There are so many people who step into their future and sit and say, ah, God is not fair. What you are seeing today by the grace of God is the framework of years of speaking. Our tomorrow will reveal what we are speaking today. Are you listening to me? It's a very simple but powerful teaching. Because there are so many believers that cry and lament over situations. Waiting for God to do something about it. When God is telling you, I have equipped you with the tools and the understanding to frame your reality. You hear a report that is not supposed to be there are too many believers that give up and give in too quickly because we do not realize that within the believer given by god through the instrumentality of his word is the ability to change our situations can i tell you something there are very few people who you see and admire today who had the best situations in their lives by default people created it are you listening to me if you look at someone's wealth and admire it if he got it by the word of god it was created by the principle of God. You speak that faith. And then on this earth realm, God begins to transfer it by the wisdom he gives you. Hallelujah. Many of us have allowed Satan to take advantage of our lives. And we have watched our lives not make any progress. Many of us have sat back to watch things go wrong in our families. Yet every time we just look and we are just passive about it truth we are studying god's word but we do not realize that when the word of god is not spoken it will only reside in your spirit and stay there but it will not change your life until it is brought forth and declared he said declare ye that ye might be justified where the word of a king is there is power can i tell you something according to jewish culture all right the proof that you are a king is that you can just speak and your word is done have you realized that in this earth realm, the more you become an ogre, the proof that you are an ogre is that you just speak and things happen. Hallelujah. If I say, um, Casey, come, and he gets up and comes, what happens? His ability to obey my word is proof that I'm not a non-entity. Are you understanding me? And so you need to realize that the proof of your dominion, the true proof of your dominion in the kingdom is that you speak things and they happen. If things are not created by the power of your word, you are not reigning. And there are too many people struggling. But the Bible says there remained a rest for God's people. That you come to a point where you frame your world with the creative power of God. Hallelujah. Many of us came here and saying, Lord, will you meet my need? Lord, will you do this and this? And God is saying, when will you get up and take responsibility and begin to put word in your lips? Stand as a king that you are. Are you listening to me? 
Arise, there are many people who have been sitting, you've been buffeted by Satan again and again because we are unwilling to stand like kings that we are. Say after me, I am royalty. That within you is the ability to create the kind of future you want. If you get to the top and don't find me there, where you are is not the top. Hallelujah. You know why? Because I will not shut my mouth over my destiny. You see, in the earth realm, if you keep quiet, you are con the Bible says even a fool, when he is silent, is considered wise. So people just say, I don't want to look for trouble. There are many people who are afraid of making their faith declarations about their future. So when you get up and begin to speak and say, in the name of Jesus, I will not beg for bread. And your roommate say, I thought you just begged me for one indomie. So what? So what? Are you listening to me? Through faith, we understand that the walls were framed. Framed. For you to ever speak, you must know the kind of life you want. And for you to know the kind of life you want, you have to go back to the word of God. The word of God gives you a picture of the kind of life God has for you. Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the things that I think, the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. They are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. Hallelujah. There are many people can I tell you something? I am convinced that one of the reasons why the Holy Spirit came back to resurrect Jesus is because he spoke it. How many of you know that before he died, he said it? He said, I will die, but after three days, I will rise. He wasn't just informing them. He was releasing a word so that when the mortal body was dead, on the third day, that word was activated. I've spoken things about my life and I'm not careful. Let me tell you something. The man who brings you to a point of silence has destroyed your life. Are you learning something this night? All oh, that you need to speak. Many of us, all we speak is, I don't have this. I don't have that. My life is not this. We are the, when will you start speaking? Stop speaking what you are seeing. Begin to create. You are co-creators with God. hallelujah for years i kept speaking i said i will never be a failure in life i will never be a failure in ministry there is nothing that my hands will ever touch that will fail I, I tell you the truth take me anywhere the result will come you know why this technology of the spirit will work hmm. and so jesus christ comes to a place and begins to heal the people with the power of his word. Hallelujah. Many times you come for meetings. And you see all of these things. You create a doorway from the realm of the spirit to this realm. There are several believers that have several virtues of the spirit. Locked up in the realm of the spirit. But we are too silent. Oh, we are careful. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to look charismatic. Unfortunately... I hope you know that in Genesis, in Genesis chapter 3, the Bible says, and they heard the voice of God walking in the cool of the day. The Hebrew rendition is they had the talking spirit. That's what the Hebrew called God there. The spirit that talks. The talking spirit. Let me tell you something. If you make up your mind to walk with this principle I'm teaching you tonight, your success will scare you. There are many people who don't speak. I'm not just talking about a special time when you lock your door. You make it a part of your life to speak. Many of us speak, but we speak the wrong things. And so our lives begin to move in the direction of our words. The creative power of the spoken word. You never find me say certain things about myself. I cannot. It's not for me. No, sir. I shared it, I think, was it during the leaders meeting or something? Or somewhere. I said, even if I were not born again, I will never kill myself. That spirit of suicide, impossible. You know how much I believe in myself? I will nev never, the money I will use to buy rope to hang myself, I will eat food with it or do something else. 
You've got to speak your way to victory in this life. If you sit down waiting for God, you will sit down there forever. You've got to speak. You've got to prophesy. You've got to declare. Ezekiel chapter 37. I trust God that will pray. One of the things God was bringing my attention to. And in this place we are raising talking spirits. Men and women, the Janfa had always said it, that in every man is a prophetic dimension. Whether or not you are called to occupy the office of a prophet, the ability to decree, to create, to establish. Hallelujah. I my church, we don't like talking. Start talking. Start talking. Open your mouth and decree. Declare. Tell yourself, my life. Let me tell you something. Every time things look like they are not going, they are not working. Don't sit down and say, oh God, when will my change come? The day you start speaking. Many of us say, what if I'm speaking and it's going worse? That's the time to keep speaking more. You keep quiet, you've made the biggest mistake. Satan brings us, you know what depression is? Let me tell you something. Depression is a demonic mechanism to bring you to a state of silence. So that you don't speak again. That's why men are the ones who are most depressed. Because according to our character and makeup, when men have serious issues, they keep quiet. It's women that always talk. Why did it, when you see a man just keep quiet? The worries on that man, if he puts it on you, it will kill you. I watched one Nigerian film that one man thinks we're not going, um, things were not going um, right and all of this. I seen several kinds of uh, terrible things were happening. And then they were, the landlord was supposed to come and drive him out. That was the final thing. He just came out of his veranda and he just put his hand like this. And while the people were discussing and trying to beg the landlord's boys, the guy had died since. They came outside and found out that this guy died on his hands. So what, what kind of life is that? The last ounce of energy that he had, he'd have said, Lord, there's got to be more. Either your word is true or I'm doing something wrong. In any case, speaking will reveal it. I make up, shut your door. We have very few believers that understand the creative power of the word. Hallelujah. And so we sit down and say, Lord, Lord, when will you help me? When will you help me? Many of us have been looking for all kinds of things. Many of our parents are there. And you say, ah, God gave us this thing for business. We have been looking for capital. We are waiting for one uncle. You are waiting for one uncle. Have you not heard that the Bible says the word became flesh? So the word can become flesh. Ah, when the word becomes flesh, it will dwell among you. If the word can become flesh, the word can become the money you are looking for. The word can become the increase you are looking for. The word can become anything. The Bible says the word that was in the realm of the spirit wore a material body. It became flesh. The word became flesh. Oh, that's why every promise of God in my life must become flesh. I must identify with it here and now in this realm. Hallelujah. The power of God's word. I understand that I live in a kingdom that is governed by words. How come sorcerers know this and demons know this? And witches are... You never go to a native doctor and he is silent. They are always saying things. Whether you understand or not is not the issue. It's that they are saying things. The creative power of the spoken word. Many of us have stopped speaking about our lives because you felt, well, I started and I'm not seeing anything. The Bible says, why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal. Let me tell you something. Every time God sends you, he will send you with only a word. Many people, when they are starting out in ministry, they've not done anything. They are looking for partners. They are looking for everything. <laughs> All this begging, 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 sitting down to beg people. There are many of us, are you not tired of begging your uncles and aunties running helter-skelter? There are many of us who are looking for our school fees. 
and you will not let it, you've called almost everybody on your phone and you are angry. Why don't you make the word become flesh? He said, but how shall these things be? That's what Mary asked. He said, how shall these things be? Oh God, how shall these things be? That's what Zechariah said. When the angel brought him word, he doubted and Gabriel was angry. He said, I am Gabriel that standeth in the presence of God. And guess what? Zechariah became deaf and dumb. You know why? So that his words would not change the plan of God. And his mouth was shut until the baby was born and he used his hand to write it. He said his name is John. God said, now your mouth can open. Isn't that amazing? That's a powerful lesson we need to learn. God, had, because Zechariah was a priest, he was operating in a prophetic office. And if he made decree, he could interrupt heaven's affairs on earth. There are many people, have you not known that your speaking cooperates with the heavens to bring to birth realities? Every time God shows you, many of you get up with a beautiful dream. You saw people celebrating you in the dream. That's an opportunity to make that word become flesh. You just lie down and write it in your book and say, I know one day it will happen. And you are angry now. You saw it when you were four years. How old are you? 30. You have not seen any manifestation. Hallelujah. We have to come to points where we keep speaking. Speaking. You want to go for a job interview, you begin to speak. I am well favored. I am well favored. The grace of God is at work in my life. I feel very sad when I see people living as if the word of God is not working. I tell you the truth with all humility. What you see today is a product of the word becoming flesh. The strength and the creative potency of the word on the lips of faith. Hallelujah. Who told you the blessings in the word cannot become your reality? It's just that we have trained ourselves to run and beg, do everything we run with everything. Just run. look at our parents. Running elter skelter. I know this person. I know that person. Some of us are already looking for admission. And the, and the next thing is, please, who do you know that can help me? Let me share with you a story to the glory of God. I didn't ask him for permission, but I'll share it. Over Steve's admission, he shared with me. Let me tell you something. When Steve was looking for admission, I didn't ask for his permission. I'm sorry, sir. Hallelujah. The first list came out and he didn't get the admission. And then the second list came out. He also didn't get the admission. Hallelujah. Then they used to do first, second, and third list. And then he meandered his way to Living, Living Faith Church. And while he sat down there, he had somebody giving a testimony that he went around the Senate building seven times speaking. And when he did the admission, the second list came and he got it. And Steve said, ah... See him, he can confirm it. Steve went round your senate seven times. Carbol satire. The Bible says, wherever the, the my feet treads upon has been given unto me. That's him. The word of God. The word of God. Let me share with you something to bless your heart. When my sister, my sister, she's in final year now to the glory of God. She got admission. She was given economics. And something happened and she collapsed during her WIAC. And then she didn't, she didn't get, the, the, she didn't make maths or something then. And so when it was time to give her admission, things didn't work out. And uh, they said, well, here's your admission letter. But you don't have maths. And so I said, so where do we try now? I was asking her. And she said, okay. I can do mass communication. I've said, Lord, what is my sister going to study? I've been blessing other people. And God said, my sister was going to study mass communication. I said, that's all. I went to the HOD's office and I said, well, uh, there's a one full and man like this. He said uh, that, well, there's no admission. There's no this thing. I just left him quietly. and See, when you know this power, you stop begging people. The place of your victory is not in the open. You go and shut yourself and say, are you not the creator of heavens and the earth? 
and I began to speak and suddenly as I began to speak God gave wisdom and God told me he said go and meet Prof Rampia's father of blessed memory he blessed our lives before he went to be with the Lord hallelujah and God just gave me the wisdom and I went and met him and he said you mean the man said no admission and he just got up and went and went to talk with the man I said well it's not like there's no admission it's just that they have to wait and see first and all of that and that cut the long story short my sister is in final year today my younger sister could not enter school for a long time because she was looking for a particular paper she did her best and everything she got frustrated at a point and one year I got angry I had gotten admission my sister had not gotten admission I got angry in the court many of you don't know it now in the court there that night he was a, I became a talking spirit I said Lord even if my sister doesn't write Waek, English must come out this year I put it as a time I, I got angry in my spirit and the spirit of faith I was the one who drove her to a cafe and when we went to the cafe she couldn't come out because she had written exams many times just like many of you are saying master we have toiled all night nevertheless at I word hallelujah and when I checked it and I saw C in her English I came out say hey where are you oh, yeah collect your today by God's grace she has graduated served she's a happy happy wonderful lady she's looking for a job and she told me I said truly if I'm a blessing and I'm a servant of God believe me you have a very good job many of you are saying Kai, man of God don't you know that is the same ability that resides within you why do you think we sing that song same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me how many how many things have come our way that would have changed by the creative power of God's word Ezekiel chapter 37 very quickly and then we'll pray this was the encounter of the prophet Ezekiel and the spirit of the living God a very simple lesson for us to get and then I like us to pray it's my desire friends that the least person among us here will command fearful breakthroughs and advancements in our lives that we will lead the reality of this scripture that says the least among them will be as great as David so that it will not just be a few people I look forward to times when it's time for testimony we'll have to stop and say hold on because we will say I must give this word works that statement the word works I don't hear many people say it again that means it has not been working for many people that means you have stopped speaking Ezekiel 37 thank you Lord Jesus for the breath of your spirit upon this word the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of a valley that was full of bones. Say it was full of bones. So it's not only your life that is full of bones. There's a valley that has been full of bones. And believe me, there are some people's lives that the bones are almost filling the valley. You need to hear this message tonight and begin to reduce those bones and create an exceeding great army out of those bones. Many of us do not realize that the same things that look like disadvantages are the raw materials that will be used to create the miracle. The same bones now became an exceeding great army. Read on. And caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And lo, they were what? They were what? It was a description of the state of hopelessness. See, I don't care what problem you have in this place. I don't care what kind of future you need to frame. Solomon tells us that there is nothing that is happening now on the earth that has not happened before. Whether it's financial situation, 
whether it's your education, whether it's whatever, the Bible makes us to understand that with the creative power of God's word, you can frame a glorious destiny. You may not be able to do anything about yesterday, but you can begin to speak today to redeem your tomorrow. Are you listening to me? Verse 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live again? Do you see a future where these bones suddenly become human beings standing? Ah, the prophet said, Bones becoming an army is hard, oh God. I'm a prophet. I've seen visions, I've seen all kinds of supernatural things. But Lord, on this, only thou knowest. Hallelujah. It gets to points in your life where if God tells you certain situations can change, they look so impossible. Until the miracle happens, you will never believe it can happen. When you hear some testimonies and close your mouth, the person was not laughing when he was trusting God for the breakthrough of that testimony. Remember when we were going to Pangshin 2006? We didn't have the. It's not like now that we are reaping the products of the Word of God. We were going for a crusade. A few people here were there then. And there was no money for the transportation. But we had asked the drivers to come to Main Gate. And we told everybody, go and be entering the bus. Where E and I meet on campus, God is my witness. That was where I was walking. I said, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you have given us this instruction. Your word is true. And as I was speaking there and then, people were running from hostels and running from wherever and coming and saying, I hear you poor about to leave. Here's the money. Ask him. That's how we raise the money at that point. Why are we too quick to doubt God and his ability to bring his promises to pass in our lives? I believe God. I believe God. I believe God. I believe God. Everything he has said in his word, I believe. And I have declared that I will see it happen in my lifetime. Hallelujah. So I'm provoking us tonight to realize that part of the principles of the kingdom is the ability to speak God's word. You have a business. Enough of begging people and trying to look for favor. Who can connect? Who can do this? You are looking for a job. Enough of begging this, begging, begging, begging thing. I'm telling you, I've said it again and again and I'll keep saying it. Take you, for those of you who are graduating, take your eyes away from men. Take your eyes away from men. You will be disappointed again and again in this life. In my little life, I've come to see that anything that the word of God does not give is vanity and is a mirage. It will only bring you pain and sorrow. Men can promise you heaven and hell and you'll be this not because they want to be unfaithful. The best and the greatest of any man is still a man. Son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. Verse 4. He said, again he said unto me, do what? Are you reading it? Again he said unto me, prophesy. He didn't say, read the scroll. He said what? Prophesy. Speak. Prophesy. 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 And say what? He said, prophesy upon it didn't say prophesy to God. You need to know when to speak to God and when to speak to situations and circumstances. And speak to your future. Many of us are always talking to God. Both the things we should tell him and the things we should do ourselves. It says speak upon these bones. It's the same thing as God saying, Josh, you people are trusting God for a boss project. Do you believe that this can become a boss? God is not stupid like that. Wisdom is profitable to direct. That's the kind of carnality that has come upon our minds that we are not able to believe God. If God tells me our boss will come from this, 
till I die, you will meet me on my knees here, calling this to become a boss. I will not respond foolishly. I will respond to the word. But if he has decreed it, it will come to pass. Hallelujah. So you find the truth of God's word concerning your life in the word. And then you keep it in your spirit. And suddenly you begin to frame. I will never be poor in this life. Never, never be poor in this life. You know why? You know why? Let me tell you something. I've said it again. I'm saying it with all humility. There is nobody here that receives salary from this ministry. Ask the treasurers. They are there. Nobody. I've never asked the ministry to give me one naira for my daily bread. I said, God... I can't be tying my faith and the well-being of my family to the obedience of someone. So God tells you to sow a seed into my life and you struggle with God for three months before saying yes. While you are struggling, I'm suffering from nothing. I'd rather believe God's word for myself. Are you listening to me? I'd rather believe God's word for myself. Oh, I know his word works. But it doesn't just work blindly. I'm teaching you the dynamics of the creative power of God's word. That you put God's word in your lips. Not just to pray and say, Lord, I want this. So I've been telling you, if you don't give me, you are not speaking the word. You are just making noise and, and disturbing the realm of the spirit. You need to be constructive. 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 Are you getting me? You need to be constructive. Ah, God, I said this and that. I'm trusting you. When will the change come? Anyway, I've made up my mind to give you glory. You keep giving glory over nothing. You need to calm down. What the creative force, listen, listen. I'm very serious about what I'm, I'm, I'm saying. The creative force in the realm of the spirit is not your words. It's God's word. So if what you have been speaking is your word, it will not create anything. If your word becomes God's word, then it will create something. All these vain things that people command angels up and down and no angel has moved at your command. The angels will only move at your command if your word is the word of God. You see that saying, my angels go. Go by which authority? Who are you? You didn't send them. The Bible says they were sent to minister. And so you, they, are, they move only under the instruction of the Holy Spirit. So when it looks like they are obeying your words, it's because your word has become God's word. Ha! No mountain will move because of your word. Oh mountain, move. You know me. Ah, you know you. It takes a revelation where you understand. No demon will give way because your name is called Joshua Selman. Nothing will change in your life because you are a Christian. Many people say, God, I'm a Christian. My life is not moving forward. I will go back to drinking and smoking. Please. Yeah, that's the door. Go. Go and drink and smoke and see how good you will become. But you must come to a point in your life where you realize that it is within my power to frame my destiny. There's a place for praying in tongues. Are you listening to me? It's all speaking the word. But there's a place for conscious and willful lifting of the word of God. That's why I love the word of faith movement. You put the word in your lips and make decrees. Things are not working. Every time God keeps convicting you. God keeps convicting you. Change this situation. Many people say, okay, Josh, I've been speaking God's word. Nothing is moving. Don't worry. Keep speaking. It's changing. When the clouds be full of rain, they will empty themselves. A day will come, the miracle will overtake you. You say, God is too much. God will say, too much for what? You have, you have put the code. It's, it, it can't stop. Ah! I cannot, I cannot stop being blessed. You know why? You know why? I understand the principles from God's word. There's no place I will go in this life that the door will not be open. It's not about me. It's about a spiritual principle. Through faith, we understand that he and I was framed by the word of God. Through faith, we understand that koinonia came into being it was only an announcement in January today through faith it has gained structure through faith 
we understand that we'll be taking the nations through faith a day will come through the media through whatever a day will come that what god has told you that you will own the largest satellite that will be to africa what tbn is to the world through faith you know that it will come to pass man is well it will happen one day i'll, I'll meet paul crouch you see the kind of unbelief i'm talking about you don't need to meet paul crouch you just need to know the word of god so all i need to do is god what are you saying if god says by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow he and i will have a tv station i will announce it and rejoice and say guys this is what god has said and then i will not just go back foolishly and cross my leg and say god's word he told timothy he said how did he put it um He said, make a good warfare with the prophecy that has been given to you. In other words, it's the word of, let me tell you, you will keep seeing things in the realm of the spirit that will never happen in your life if you keep your mouth shut. There are too many people, they've seen themselves with new suits, they've seen new car, they've seen blessings, they've seen family, you saw yourself flying in, in the air until now. Bicycle has not even crossed the gate of your house. You know why? Because everybody's just crossing his leg and waiting. God is God. You think so? There are people who don't sleep in the night. They make it a, a praying time. While you are snoring up and down, they are making decrees over their life. They dance and while they dance, you sit down and say, ah, look at that person just dancing foolishly. That's what they are doing. Then one day you see them standing and they're like, hey God, this was my classmate. What were you doing when he was speaking? You are in the lecture. After, after a lecture, the lecturer is not coming and you see someone just speaking. And say lord i know that the course i'm studying may not be very lucrative but my life is upon your word i make decrees and the person is listening you're like please if you want to give to caesar what belongs to caesar you're in the class stop doing all these your holy things and then suddenly you see doors that will open as the person is graduating that's when somebody is is being promoted abroad and they will bring the person and say we have been waiting for you i don't know you but god gave us a word to bless you I say, ah, some people are locking this lock. There's nothing called lock, brothers and sisters. There is nothing. Forget about all those lock, lock, modern nature thing. You create your future. Say after me, in the name of Jesus, I have the power to frame my future. You cannot frame a future you don't have an idea of. Have you ever seen any architect wanting to build a house? And he tells the people, just build. They say, where is the toilet? They say, just, just build, Oga. I am not complaining. Is it you that I will live in the house? Just be building. And the guy says, should I put it in the middle of the house? Say, just keep building. Before, hear me. Before you build any house, you must have a plan. Your plan. So you must have an idea. What does the word picture of your future does the word of God give you? The word of God gives you a picture of a blessed life. Let me show you some pictures that the word of God gives. Can we look at it very quickly? All right. Guys, let me show you something powerful. Psalms 128, quickly. I don't know if you ever desire this kind of future, but that's the kind of future I desire. We're going to pray shortly. Psalms 128, are you there? Psalms 128. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord and walketh in his ways. Verse 2. Okay, we have it on the slide. Verse 2. It says, For thou shalt eat the labor of your hands. Is it in your Bible? That's, that's a painting of your picture, of your future. It said, Thou shalt eat the labor of your hand. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with you. Verse 3. Thy wife, that means you'll be married. So that ends the issue of disturbing God and not letting God rest. Oh, when will my wife come? The Bible already said, Thy wife, for heaven's sake. Are you understanding? It said, Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by thy side. So no, no fear of divorce. She will be by your side. That's what the Bible says. Of thy house. It said, Thy children. So there will be children. Like olive plants round about your table depends on how many you want i'm not sure i want round about my table if i have three children i've contributed my best to the planet hallelujah next verse verse four 
behold, thus shall be, thus shall be, thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. So this is a scripture that you can speak. Let me confess, Jake has been eating this scripture for the last how many days? Especially the part of the blessing. No, 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 I'm not talking of the white part. Many of you are. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a prophetic picture of your destiny. And you say, Lord, I do not yet see all things under my feet, but my mouth will bring it under my feet. And you begin to speak and say, Lord, this is your word. I believe your word and I begin to decree. Hallelujah. Are you there? One more scripture. What's the other scripture, sir? Help me. Job 5. Ah, yeah. Let me show you. How many of you know Job was a dangerous man? That guy, Job, you need to study the book of Job. Let me show you something in Job 5. I'm showing you a prophetic picture of your destiny. Mm. Job 5. Hallelujah. Okay. Verse, verse 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, seven. In seven shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death. Recession. Recession. Ah, there's recession everywhere. It's coming into Nigeria. So, the word of God says in famine he will redeem you from death. Are you, are you understanding? It says, and is war and in war from the power of the sword. And thou shalt be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. Let me tell you what the scourge of the tongue is. Somebody spoke against me in the village, and he said it will not be well with me. The Bible says that there is an operation of the spirit that makes you immune to the scourge of the tongue. Let men speak whatever they speak. As they are speaking, all they see is the dust from your back. Advancement unlimited. There's nothing any man can do to stop me. This young man standing may be young in himself, but there is a mighty hand that I'm sitting upon. Every one of us is sitting upon a hand that cannot fail. Hear me, cannot fail. When the word of God enters your spirit, people will think you are arrogant. It's just an expression of the truth of God's word. That's why Jesus said, come on, I've, I've been humble. Before Abraham was, I am. He said, don't take my being nice for granted. I believe God's word. Tonight, the meeting is supposed to provoke you. He said, neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt what? Laugh. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Hallelujah. Very, very solid, very, very powerful scriptures that God is showing. Let me show you something in Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I love the word of God with my life. I love the word of God. Are you there? It says, verse 18, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. He said, Behold, I do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So if God sends you to a wilderness, there's still no problem. I will make a way in the wilderness. Rivers, streams in the desert. For as long as I keep speaking the word of God over people's lives, they will keep getting results. You know why? Let me show you very quickly. It's not because my name is called Joshua Selman. Isaiah 44. Mm. 
Verse 24. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, him who formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord who maketh all things, who stretcheth forth the heavens alone, who spreadeth abroad the earth by myself, who frustrated the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad, who turneth wise men backward and make their knowledge foolishness, who confirmeth the word of what? Is it in your Bible? He confirms the words of his servant. And the counsel of his messengers. So that when I decree and say in the name of Jesus you are blessed. I am confident you will get a result. Because he confirms the words of his servant. You create your future with the kind of life you want. I mean, you create the kind of life you want with the word of God. I am blessed in the city. I know it. I know it. I am blessed in the country. Everywhere I go, I am blessed. Let me tell you something. If I step into a place, even if my enemies are, the, are all the people there, they will bless me. The Bible says when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. That's why I don't have enemies. I don't have enemies. I will keep being promoted in this life from one dimension of grace to the other. The reason is because my promotion in life is not tied to any man. The Bible says promotion neither comes from the east, nor the west, nor the south. Promotion comes from God. Hallelujah. I will never get arrogant over what God is doing in my life. You know why? The Bible says the race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. It said it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Lord that showeth mercy. When you saturate your life with God's word, then you begin to declare. Favor follows me everywhere I go. I'm favored. I'm favored. Hallelujah. I'm favored. I'm favored. I'm favored. Blessed in the city, blessed in the country. In the name of Jesus, the works of my hands are blessed. Everything I lay my hands to do is blessed. Blessed in my business, blessed in ministry. You know why? The Bible says, whatsoever, it says, shall be like a tree planted by the streams. I will never know dryness in my life because I'm planted by the rivers of living waters. He said, who's Whose, um, whose leaves does not wither. And then he say, whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever he doeth prospers. If I don't do it, it's not because I'm afraid of failing. I'm, I, I'm, 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 I want to obey God. But anything I lay my hands to do, if it is of God, it will prosper. Can you come to that point? Laban made a confession. He said, I know that on account of you, God has blessed me. Your presence in my house is like the ark that was in the house of Obededon. Favor follows me everywhere I go. I have the grace of God. That's why when I shake your hands and I say you are blessed, believe me, you are blessed. You don't know the scriptures that frame the revelation of what I'm doing. That's why you can step into a place and say, peace be still, and there will be peace. Hear me, brothers and sisters. I can go on my knees and beg you. You are not victorious in this life until you come to a point where you can put the word of God in your lips and begin to frame your destiny. Frame your destiny. Frame your destiny. Say after me, I'm framing my destiny. Don't sit down and watch things not go in your, in your family. There are people who are not getting married and all of this. And I say, well, it's just God. It's just God. Yes, you did Bible study about it. Have you spoken? Yes, you cried and rolled. Have you gotten up to speak? The Bible says David cried until there was no strength in him. God didn't say anything. And then he got up and spoke and said, God, should I pursue? God said, this is what I've been waiting. Pursue and overtake. So many of us tonight need to wipe our tears and say, Satan, I'm not as weak as you think I am. I've been equipped. I may look weak in myself, but let me tell you, I am going to take the word of God and put upon my lips. 
and begin to speak and say lord my father is getting a good job that will restore him from the time he has been blackmailed a job that will pay him and restore him and you are speaking and you call your father and say daddy i want you to know that i'm on a project speaking over your life and destiny and my love i say well thank you son or daughter the day they call him you say ah this thing works oh it works it works i believe the word of god the word of God works. I can stake my life to death at God's word. I know his word works. There is more to the story of my life. There's more to the story of this great ministry because of the power and the operation of God's word. Our boldness, our sufficiency is not in ourselves. Our sufficiency is in the confidence that we derive from the integrity of God's word. No matter what challenge you are in, no matter what miracle you need for your life, I'd like you to know that if you stand to be an ambassador and make it a project to begin to decree only God's word, go and frame certain scriptures, put it on your laptop. I like that software that while you are working on your laptop, it keeps bringing uh, the word out. Instead of putting your picture and you see yourself when you went for excursion, you just put your leg. Put the word of God. Change your ringtone to something that will administer the word of God. Ah, Josh has started fanatical. Okay. Oh. When you make the word of God a project in your life and you begin to speak and make decrees and say, In the name of Jesus, my life is blessed. Once in a while, you invite your friends or your roommates and say, let's go and pray. And after praying in tongues, say, hold on, we are going to speak definite things. We begin to speak. And when you speak, let's finish up this scripture. Ezekiel, so that we can pray. Sometimes I wish there's time and time again to just keep expounding on God's word. Ezekiel. You do wonders, you do wonders in our midst. Faithful God, faithful God. Ha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. I didn't want to share this, but I'm, I'm sensing my spirit to share it. God told me something. He said, son, the dimension of influence and increase and expansion that you are stepping into i mean everyone not just me as a person together as a family god told me we are stepping into fearful dimensions of increase and expansion by the spirit we are told the leaders i remember john first saw it in a vision and when god told me i started laughing i was happy and i was laughing because I know what God means by that. God is saying, son, I've shown you the picture in the heavens. Make it real in this realm. And I began to say, Lord, kapo satire. I partner with you. Koinonia. It's not just intimacy. Partnership. I agree with you. Let it be done as it is in the heavens. So friends, you have not seen increase. You have not seen expansion. God told me with it will come many persecution because people will talk. A time will come, people will say, these people... Their ways are not straight. The way things are happening. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, we don't have any secret. This is it. The good old word of God. The good old word of God. I love the prophetic so much because it announces the thing before it happens. You do want to see me. You do wonders in our midst. You do wonders. You do wonders in our midst. Faithful God. Hallelujah. 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 Increase on all sides. That's what I see advancement on all sides breaking new grounds i don't see a worse tomorrow no 
by the Spirit. Greater transformation. Greater building. That's what I see. I look forward to a time when the worship team go international. They are going. The media going international. Oh yes, it's happening by the Spirit and it's for the kingdom. I don't know what you see, but that's what I see. That's what I see. Many of you need to change the word of God changes your perception. Increase on all sides. Undeniable expansion by the word of God operating on an economic frequency that cannot be calculated by any law of economics. Only by the spirit. And when we dumbfound the wisdom of men, then we shrink back to say, King of kings, be glorified. Be glorified. Let's finish the scripture. Friends, I'd like you to prepare yourself to be a part of what God is doing. And say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear ye the word of who? It was Ezekiel speaking, but he called it the word of who? So although you are speaking it, in the realm of the spirit, it is registered as the very words of Jesus Christ carrying the same potency and creative ability. That's why I love the prophetic. The prophetic is not just to reveal to you the future. It can create one. The prophet said, this woman has been good to us. What do we give her? Can you imagine? He didn't say, let me go and pray and find out. He said, this woman has been nice. It is within our power to create a future for this family. And he said, according to the time of life, that God will raise generals among us who will make decrees and say, because of me, Lord, my family, my mother didn't go to school, my dad didn't go to school, but they will reap the blessings of having a blessed child. Refuse to see yourself as small. Nobody knows you now. But the word of God will create a ladder for you. You will ride prosperously through life. That when men say there is a casting down, there is an invisible ladder. People say, where is the ladder that you are climbing in? The word of God. The word of God was a, a pillar for someone to walk on water. And he said, come. He said, if it be thou, bid me come. And he said, come. And Peter got up full of his own belief notwithstanding. He walked on that water. I'm telling you the truth. There is no situation you cannot walk over. I believe God's word. I believe God's word. I believe God's word. I believe that a time will come in my life when I will almost not be allowed to do anything because there will be too many people to bless me. Where somebody will say, please don't pay the school fees of your children. Give me the privilege of having your children come to my school. That's what I believe. I don't know about you. I know that a time will come when the, the financial blessings God is giving you, you will not see any need to use it because there's really no need. You will just keep pumping it for the advancement of the kingdom. You are just saying, thank you, Jesus. It's a realm, of, it's a realm where the Bible says the reaper will overtake the sower. You don't know whether it's a harvest or it's a seed you are so you cannot even tell again you lift up your voice someone comes with a car key of a house uh, I'm, I'm a car key and a house and says god gave me an instruction and told me to build this and bless you for your service for the kingdom people say what is this then you remember when you were on campus and you were shouting and saliva was pouring from your mouth you say this is the fruit and you will stand as a testament and as an epistle to show that the word of God is potent and that it has power. One day my result will come. It's a deception from hell. I'm telling you this again. You must insist and say, I make that one day today. Psalm 113 verse 9. Psalm 113 verse 9. Please help us media. Psalm 113 verse 9. This is what will be somebody's story after this miracle service. It says he make it. Who makes it? Ah! And we're standing here 
only because you may. He make it so God can make it happen. It is within his power to make it happen. He make it the barren woman to keep house. And then he says to be a joyful mother of what? The only reason why you should stop giving birth is mutual understanding between you and your wife. Not a situation that has pegged you and saying that child will not come. No. A joyful mother. A joyful mother of children. A joyful mother of children. One last scripture. Exodus 23 verse 26. Exodus 23. I like you to read it. One to read. There shall nothing cast her young, nor be barren in thy land. He didn't say there shall no one. He said nothing. Nothing. Do you know your money can be barren? Many other things in your life can be barren. It says, there shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in the land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Brothers and sisters, it's time to get angry. To know that every trace of barrenness, regardless of how it appears, is of the devil and must be dealt with as such. Three keys to fruitfulness, very quickly. When our backs were against the wall And it looked to see if it was over You made a way And we're standing here Only because you made You move mountains You cause walls to fall With your power Perform miracles There is nothing That's impossible And we're standing here Only because you made Three keys very quickly to fruitfulness The first key is to treat fruitfulness as a command Have an understanding that fruitfulness is not an opinion. It's not an opinion that is left to your personal desire. Fruitfulness is a command. Fruitfulness is a command. Genesis 1.28 Fruitfulness is a command. Anything that is not fruitful in your life is causing your life to be disobedient towards the word of God. Anything anything the moment you see your life not producing result in any aspect there is a spirit forcing your life to reflect obedience disobedience fruitfulness is a command barrenness is an attempt to make you violate that command number two the second key to fruitfulness is that obedience to kingdom principles will deliver the desired result it's not enough to have the understanding that is a command there are principles that compel your partnership with the word of god in order to get that result principles scattered through scripture are several principles that are responsible for certain manifestations of god's grace in our lives are we together Praise God. Are we together now? Sorry about that. Obedience to kingdom principles will deliver desired result. Listen, please. Wishing and crying helps you, but it does not help your situation. Are we together now? God is moved by your tears, but he only responds to his word. He is moved by your tears. We do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. It's called compassion. But for results to happen in your life, you must activate the word. The woman with the issue of blood had been crying, but nothing happened. But she said, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. 
obedience to kingdom principles for instance when it comes to finances your tithe your giving kingdom investments and the opportunity and the platform to provide value remain the irrefutable keys to wealth and abundance there is no theology around it are we together there is no magic and mysticism around it obedience to kingdom principles now most of us want miracles of fruitfulness listen we want miracles of fruitfulness in our lives but we are unwilling to pay that price of alignment there are people who are not consistent tithers they have an idea that tithing is um is a system men of god just corner the money and they enjoy it i mean that, that that is such a deception see how cheap you gave yourself to satan how much is what you are bringing for you to believe that is the reason why a man will compromise on his faith there are all kinds of theological ideas sponsored by the gate of hell that keep people poor are we together how about trusting and believing god to make you whole do you know there are people who do not believe listen listen there are people who do not believe in some of these testimonies you hear in the church maybe not in koinonia but in the body of christ when they hear something like fibro disappear they just look and say oh, we agree they don't lie let's clap you see we, we mock ourselves because we have so fraternized with unbelief it has become our template you never refuse to agree that the person was not born with the growth it came from nowhere you believe that one that it went back to where it came from you don't believe it are we together oh someone's genotype change or a woman gave birth to triplets and twins some of you where is the woman let her come let's see i must see with my own eyes you see let me tell you something do not over intellectualize spiritual things they are far beyond the realm of the intellect if you learn to believe god with childlike faith and say lord i know this is true when will you believe are we together honestly there are some of us we have never really believed anything truly you have only been aware that it happened but that conviction no i'm a believer oh, i believe god i believe god i'm a believer i'm a believer especially for those of us listen especially for those of us who who claim to be a light we have allowed education to take the place of god and then we want god to give you a science on how these things will happen are we together now god you need to show me how this will be this and produce this and then god says me give you that explanation the bible says for us you do not know the way of the wind nor how bones are formed in her that has a child how a seed a little seed from a man becomes the bones of a child that you cannot break with your hand explain that mystery it says so you do not know the way of god tonight i want you to believe don't sit down asking will this genotype really change will i really be delivered will god bless me just like that i remember one time people were joining the queue i think some months ago just to see me after service and then um a particular i think it was a lady or so just met me and she was ranting all her problems what she felt you know she felt look i need special time and i just touched i said it's done she said no no you don't understand i'm trying to explain. i said it's done what are all these long stories you are it's done i touched you i said it's done now i know what her problem will be even if his pain is not on her head you just touch me and say it's done that's how it works it works at the speed of faith the woman with the issue of blood did not touch the hands of jesus she touched the hem frankly any part she touched would have produced the same result it was never about what she touched 
Are we together now? We have seen all kinds of testimonies just with one word. Just with one supernatural word. My neighbor then, I think she's somewhere here. She shared her testimony here. You've heard the testimony of the miracle that God did. Supernatural miracle. All kinds of devilish things and they said all kinds of things were, you know, growing and all of that in her stomach. It came out. It passed out like a woman gives birth to a child. That's how it came. Oh, come on. See, this God, eh? Miracle worker. You are the miracle worker. Would you come and do a miracle? A miracle today. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. One of the strategies of Satan in this season is to plant nonsense in the bodies of ladies very healthy lady eating well the moment she's about to marry they will tell you something is wrong ovarian cyst fibroid somewhere or they'll say the womb has disappeared are we together fashions of stories sincerely communicated by well-meaning doctors but that's a manipulation somewhere Are we together now? To an extent, some of you ladies now are looking at me. You are even afraid. You are not even sure. You see all kinds of people. Even if you are prophesying about finances, they are laying hands on their womb and say, Lord, my own is not money. Just make sure that I give birth. When has a good thing become a thing of fear? Are we together now? And then the, the one that surprises me is the concept of impotency where they say a man no 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 that concept is a mirage plus plus you better disbelieve it gentlemen listen gentlemen listen to me don't ever don't ever i say it again allow anything to convince you that there is such a possibility like that it is it is it is an advanced form of witchcraft in the life of any man Are we together now? Don't think I'm just talking. I know what I'm saying. What you tolerate, you will never change. What you give flimsy excuses for you, it will never leave you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight, I want you to challenge yourself and tell yourself, I must have testimonies fruitfulness is a command number two obedience to the principles of the kingdom is required to deliver your desired result the last point i'll give us and then we'll pray is that in many cases warfare slash deliverance may be required to receive your testimony now you better believe this in many cases obadiah 117 in many cases warfare slash deliverance may be required to receive your testimony that's not because you are a witch that's not because you are a wizard away with that imbalanced communication to think that the moment devils are casted out of lives and people it means that they are possessed no not at all not at all not at all and away with that wrong understanding a believer cannot be possessed but a believer can be greatly influenced your faculties can come under siege siege that will look like you are possessed of devils make sure that the construction of your belief is based on the word of god so that you don't shortchange yourself of certain possibilities Look at me. There are many of us here seated looking at me. There are spirits sitting comfortably upon our lives and destinies. Every time things are not going well in your life and you do the best you can to keep certain kingdom principles, then I want you to know that you are not alone in that system. There is a stranger attempting to add to the equation something you did not add. If you keep quiet, that's how your life will go. warfare deliverance contending with the powers that be satan will not let you go just because god said to it takes force a popular scripture that has become our anthem in this place psalm 66 verse 3 
how terrible art thou in your ways he said through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves not through the greatness of your discussion it takes power don't see listen you are you are coming from a family with transgenerational witchcraft i know you are in christ but listen satan does not care all that grammar is none of his business it, you have to prove you are in christ by taking advantage of the power that came through christ to put him where he belongs he says satan he said god had put all things under his feet speaking of man he said but as it is now we do not yet see all things under his feet faith is not foolishness you must summon the courage to confront things that have refused to go oh in the name of jesus christ i'm born again up this and that and that but you are seeing all of you you are seeing patterns that reflect a healthy living of wicked spirits jesus did not hide the fact that we are influenced perpetually by all kinds of spirits in our world who attempt to compromise on our testimony it was god's servant bishop oyedeko that shared how that when the ministry started great ministry now touching people across africa and the world but then when they started people would not just come pastor for whatever reason, a very anointed man, signs and wonders, epochal revelations, but people would not come. And one time they were praying, engaging in warfare, intense warfare in the place of prayer. And the Holy Spirit asked him to come out. And he came out. And then after he had moved a distance, the Holy Spirit told him, turn and face, you know, look at the building and all of that. And then he saw a thick layer covering it. And this was what the Lord told him. He said, this is... The stronghold that makes people to misrepresent your ministry. Everything you do, they see it in a bad light. And he commanded it to go. And it left. And all of a sudden, there was, there was explosion. Kenneth E. Hagin, teaching on his encounter with Jesus. His book about his encounter with Jesus. He gave a very dramatic scenario that happened between him and jesus he said at a point when the lord jesus christ appeared to him jesus was talking to him and was giving him some instructions all of a sudden a devil like an imp a short devil just appeared in between them and was jumping up and down you know distracting kenneth hagin kenneth hagin said he thought jesus christ being there would stop that spirit from coming yet the spirit was there jumping up and down and jesus kept talking he seemed unaffected by whatever the demon was doing but kenneth hagin was affected and jesus kept speaking kenneth hagin said it worried him for a long time until he got angry in his spirit and the holy spirit gave him a strategy and he commanded that spirit he said in the name of jesus i rebuke you and he felt and, and left and this was what jesus told him according to kenneth hagin he said if you did not do anything about it i would not have done anything all that it is to be done i have done how can i is nonsense the day you get up you the best way to predict your future is to create it create it create it don't sit down waiting for it to come create it listen i don't believe in circumstances i create any circumstance i want i create it the bible tells us that the word is framed 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 your world your environment your reality is framed by the word of god obadiah 1 17 it says and upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness then it says the sons of jacob shall possess their possessions standing between the sons of jacob and their possessions are gates forces fraternities covenants of darkness that attempt to sabotage the liberty of god's people and then he says that there shall be deliverance. Deliverance is not falling down necessarily. It's not just manifesting and coughing out things. No. The context of deliverance is a platform that creates a separation on a legal basis between you and any force that keeps you bound. Are we together? 
there are things that have held our lives brothers and sisters and it must let us go you must believe this don't sit down I'm, I'm telling you this thing so you don't sit down and waste your time i came with my spirit angry we're going to deal with the issue of the fruit of the womb extensively but then i want you to know the reason why the door has not opened is because there is a spirit sitting somewhere and i tell you if you let those spirits they will wreck your life wreck your life there are pastors whose churches have refused to grow and they think they preach well they are anointed people they are great people but there are all kinds of forces brothers and sisters wickedness is real the bible tells you the whole world lies in wickedness don't say i didn't do anything to anybody the condition to be vulnerable to oppression is that you are born once you arrive here that's all you you are in the middle of a story that predates your existence so as you come you just join in the whole thing don't you think you have to come up with a fresh trouble no it is there before you arrived have you not seen children hated for something their parents did before they got married? And they look at you and while they are insulting the man, they say, who is this? You say, my name is David. Who's, you are his child. You are the idiot like him. You just inherited an insult. Just because you were associated with a man while they were making that trouble, you were in the loins of eternity. And now you came and participated. tonight i want you to believe god i want you to believe god brothers and sisters there's enough grace and unction for you to receive the miracle i believe in breakthrough breakthrough is a mystery that gives men speed where limits are taken Kabbalataya. limits are taken limits are taken limits are taken limits are taken i don't know what has held you down you must break this limit don't sit carelessly looking some of you have some results we all have different results but is that the best God can fast track your life. That between now and December 31st, He will put a new song in your mouth. A song of praise in your heart. He said, Many will see and fear and put their trust in Him. Hallelujah. And time will fail me to speak of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Men who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought the mouth of of lions shot the mouth of lions wrought righteousness let's look at one scripture romans 4 18 i just want to touch a little on this issue of believing and faith we just finished a series on faith please i encourage everyone as god grants you grace make sure you get those series and listen to them but I just want to challenge our faith a little, even as we prepare to pray. There's such a strong anointing in this place tonight. Jesus. Hallelujah. Such a strong anointing. I'm hearing footsteps. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. Footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me he's the one walking to people's lives. I'm hearing footsteps. No, 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 no. I, I believe me. Just, just, just believe me. Just walk with me. I'm hearing footsteps right now. God will not let me continue. He's walking to someone's life right now. Right now. I'm hearing footsteps in the spirit. I'm still hearing footsteps. And the Holy Spirit is telling me this is his footsteps. He's walking to someone's life. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. I don't know where those people are. But right now their stories must change. Must change. God is not even waiting for me to finish preaching. Something is happening here. A change of story. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something must change. Something is happening right now. How forcible are right words. Footsteps. I still hear these footsteps. I still hear these footsteps in my ears. And God is saying He's giving people testimonies. It's like the Spirit of God walking. Walking. He will meet you where you are. 
He will meet you where you are. Shabalarabalarabala. Sit down. Sit down. Let's finish up. Romans 4 verse 18. Just sit down. The waters has been stirred. I just want to give you an understanding on faith. You have a role to play. Listen, please. You have a role. Don't worry about what is happening. You have a role to play. Please hear me. You have a role to play. You have a role to play. You're not going to sit down and just expect to be healed. You have a role to be to play. Lift your hands, gentlemen. You raising your hand. I see an angel pouring oil on your head. That's what I'm seeing right now. Something looking like oil. That's what I see. I don't even know you. But in the name of Jesus Christ, receive that anointing right now. <sighs> My spirit is fired up. I feel this thing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. I feel this anointing on me now. I feel this thing on me now. It's the anointing that comes to the office. I feel it on me right now. A lady with a breast lump, a lady with a breast lump has just been healed right now. Check yourself. Check yourself. A lady with a breast lump, the left side of your breast, 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 the, left side of your breast. the power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching you right now. The Bible says, Who against hope? Against hope have taught us. Against hope means in spite of the obstacles believed. Who against hope? I told you the starting point of faith is the presence of an obstacle. It is not unusual to see obstacles. There is a system to take care of them. That system is based on your conviction. Backed up by understanding. That compels you to take action. The name of that action is faith. Not the name of the believing. Believing is not faith. Believing is restful confidence. Based on an understanding. The end product of believing is conviction. When you act it. The name given to that action is faith. Listen, you can hear the most anointed word if you do not mix it with faith. Be convicted that this is the word of God and then be ready to take steps. So if you are here and you cannot stand, be ready to stand. Don't just sit down saying, well, let's see what will happen. You will go back home on that wheelchair. You are deaf, you are blind, whatever it is genotype whatever make sure you are angering your spirit a door has refused to open make sure that you receive there are many faith actions praise and celebrating God is an action that's how you water whatever you sow listen Jesus said and I've corrected it here I've taught us he said if you have faith as a monster seed I've told you it's not the size if you have faith and your faith works like a mustard seed, a mustard seed is sown. That means if you can plant your faith and create an environment for it to grow in the similitude of a mustard seed, then you can say to this mountain, he was not talking about the size of faith. If you have faith and you have understood how to make it operate like a mustard seed, then you will do great things. Are we together? Tonight, I want you to refuse that any force of darkness holding your destiny will go back with you. I want you to refuse. Listen, listen. There is grace for increase. I feel it in this place. I, I just want you to believe me. You know, sometimes it's difficult communicating things to people because some, we live in an environment of such unbelief. I know the grace for increase. Listen, increase is an unction. Honor is a mantle. It can come upon a man. You can carry it bodily. 
don't sit down and just waste your time you may not be sick in your body but there is an encounter that produces a possibility upon your life listen i told you creation has never been disobedient something on you or not on you is what compels the response of creation an anointing is like a mantle it works like a charm when it is upon your life that anointing speaks is a language it will make creation respond to you in a certain way that's what you call favor that's what you call breakthrough don't sit down asking can i get a job that's a very foolish question very foolish question don't sit down asking can god make a way in the wilderness my god my god my god ah Don't sit down asking, can I get the child? No. What you should be asking is, can I get the twins or triplets? Not, can I get the child? Are we together? You are here tonight because you are trusting God to do something in your life. Face the business that brought you and be serious. Don't sit down laughing at others, criticizing others. Others will be taking radical steps of faith. Don't sit down there being cynical, laughing at them no connect and open up your spirit man of god open up for your ministry there can be more there can be more there can be more the pressure of ministry will kill you if you continue going the way you are going there is a system that bails you out even favor let me tell you this favor that we think is very free there are laws there is an unction that brings favor it is a manifestation of favor that is effortless but there is a system an exact system a science to its coming into your life hallelujah don't sit here and allow the over 40,000 or so people following online who are receiving and getting blessed and their lives are changing and you are here seated and you are wondering can God change me are you not seeing don't you see his signature all over? Listen. There are three platforms for us to receive in the kingdom. I'm rounding up now. There are three platforms for reception. I've taught this, but let me just touch it quickly. The first platform for reception is an encounter with the presence of God. When you meet God, the presence of God alone, listen, will leave certain deposits. It's like an intercourse between a man and his wife. There is a transfer. So when you meet God, there is a deposit. Listen, the second platform for reception is through your understanding and your application of the principles of the kingdom. There are dimensions of the power of God that has been vested in laws. You don't have to pray. The moment the laws are accurately um, operated, the power is released immediately. You don't have to be a Christian. But the third dimension, listen, the third dimension of reception is by tapping into the covenant a man has with God. Listen. Men enter covenants with God that represents platforms for certain possibilities to find expression. Either through their personal press or through the office they represent and the possibilities it brings. Listen to me. You will never touch prosperity ignoring Abraham. Abraham entered a covenant with God that became the platform to see that dimension of God work in your life. There are men today who have covenants with God. Answers to prayer is not just by their personal faith. Their altar is a mystery and others can tap into that mystery through honor and receive results that are above and beyond your current level of believing God. When, when Saul came where Samuel was, just that atmosphere implicated him. He prophesied. All kinds of things happened to him. You need to understand that territories, human beings represent systems in the kingdom. And not there are certain audacious statements that when God makes, he's not just waiting for your personal faith. He creates the platform for receiving those miracles upon a covenant. Are we together now? God entered a covenant with Abraham. Is that true? And then 
Abraham slept with Hagar and then had Ishmael. Is that true? They were at the wilderness crying. Two of them were crying. God only had the cry of Ishmael. Why? Because Ishmael was Abraham as far as the covenant was concerned. So God could not listen to Hagar, but he had the voice of the Lord crying. And because of that, he came. Let me tell you, this ministry you see, like cobwebs, is an encapsulation of mysteries and covenants. Mysteries and covenants. Agreements with God that become the platform for certain possibilities to happen. I want you to leverage on those advantages and cheaply tap into certain things tonight. You are not alone. There is grace for you. Rise up on your feet. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are mighty in this place. You are mighty in this place. Say na 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 na. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Before we begin to minister i want you to lift your voice and tell god everything you desire for him to do don't keep quiet don't say god knows open your mouth lord step into my finances lord step into my business lord step into my family faithful god hallelujah Lord, take away the barrier that is stopping my doors from opening. Take away the barrier, oh God, stopping my influence. Enlarge my course. answers prayers Kata tola to Lord I must take my testimony tonight I'm tired of this fibroid it dies this night this night it must go this night not tomorrow Lord favor must land upon my life I'm tired of struggling Favor must come upon my life. Those online, make sure you are praying. The anointing of the Spirit will reach you where you are.
You reign, you reign. I love you. You reign, you reign, you reign. I love you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight with an impartation. Don't bring them out. I am seeing the Lord speaking to me. And he's saying there is an unction for divine strategies. And it's coming on 21 people. 21 people. I stretch my hands right now. I stretch my hands right now. Receive that impartation. 21 people. Divine strategies. The wisdom of God. Receive it. That idea, Kato Sotoya, divine idea. Someone has been praying, Lord, show me the way. Here it comes. The anointing brings it. Help them, please. The anointing brings it upon your life. 21 people. The Lord shows me 21 people. An impartation, supernatural strategies. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to begin to minister now. But the Lord, the Lord is speaking to me. Listen. Listen, the Lord is speaking to me and this is a mystery. God wants to use two people for a prophetic word. Two people, listen, two people for a prophetic word. Two people. Play mic. Something supernatural is happening. Ah. The Lord is taking me in the spirit. And I'm seeing a map. Get ready please. I'm seeing a map in the spirit of Nigeria. And I'm landing in Kaduna state. I see an anointing touching Kaduna people now. Right now, right now, right now, by the Spirit of God, Kaduna State, Kaduna State. I see an anointing, only Kaduna State. Shabarapakata, Embreketeta, Kaduna State. A miracle happening for Kaduna people. Southern Kaduna, Southern Kaduna. There is an anointing. 
there is an anointing God is bringing breakthrough and deliverance breakthrough and deliverance breakthrough and deliverance breakthrough hallelujah I don't know why God does this brothers and sisters don't ask me don't ask me this is an operation it's called the ministry of signs and wonders now I see Benway state Benway state I see an anointing on Benway state now an anointing on Benway state Benway state Shaka Toda Parata Rekete help them please Benway state you can't stand it you don't have to know whether you don't know your state Benway state miracles miracles go into Benway state I hear or to go in the spirit a miracle happening right there right there all those connected to that bloodline there is a miracle for you right now don't trivialize what is happening here brothers and sisters these are territorial breakthroughs territorial breakthroughs hallelujah 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 i'll pray for stephanie 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 i'm hearing a name stephanie please let's save time who is stephanie you're like a red dress or something like that stephanie who is that stephanie there is a stephanie i'm seeing i will pray for you but i'm seeing someone and in the vision the lord is showing me it's like a red dress but i'll pray for you lift your hands the Lord says I should tell you witchcraft ends in your family. Witchcraft ends in your family. You will hear testimonies that will surprise you. Right now I stretch my hands towards you. Now it ends by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Johanna. 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 I'm hearing a name Johanna. Please save our time. Johanna. I don't know who that person is. Johanna, I won't continue speaking like this because we have to be fast. Johanna, 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 Johanna. Whether you're here inside or outside. Johanna, Johanna, Johanna. There is a lady following us from Lagos. Your name is Blessing. Your name is Blessing. You are in a room. You are following from a laptop. The Lord is saying I should tell you he's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. He's bringing an end to the captivity of your family. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. I want to pray. I tell you I feel fire in this place. It's time to command deliverance. It's time to command deliverance upon the forces of darkness that have tied our lives forces of darkness the lord is bringing deliverance to your family your family the lord is bringing deliverance i'm seeing a plot of witchcraft over his family and the lord is bringing deliverance right now right now to the family right now to the family the lord is bringing a major deliverance to the family a major deliverance to the family hallelujah listen listen as I begin to pray for you all those devils that has tied the lives of people it doesn't mean you are possessed it's not an insult you may not even know you may be minding yourself just like you're standing now I'm going to command those devils they must go they are not only going to live your life they must live your family are we together listen some of you brought many prayer lists just one spirit living will produce all that testimony believe me believe me lift your hands my heart my soul i give to you i bow to you my savior and king lift your hands thank you jesus father thank you for your anointing to deliver to set free there are spirits in this place sitting on the lives and the destinies of people 
and in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ they must go I want you to bring them out now they must go they must go now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus you'll be surprised to see what happens Kai 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 I see spirits of delay 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 spirits that have held men down all kinds of spirits father in the name of Jesus at the count of three Lord as your people shout may this shout reverberate in the realm of the spirit and may it bring breakthrough 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 flowing sound my flowing sound in the name of Jesus one two three shout Jesus now I command those demons go now go now go now Kato Sotoba lift your voice and begin to command every spirit every devil help them please go now I command every spirit of witchcraft that has tied the lives and the destinies of people you must go now inside and outside I command you inside and outside bring them out I command you by the power of the Holy Ghost lift your voice I command you you must go now now by the anointing of the spirit release their destinies release their destinies release their breakthrough lift your hands while still praying I'm seeing gates and I'm seeing chains on them and the Lord is saying to unlock those chains unlock those chains that anointing will come on certain people right now father I decree and declare in the name of Jesus wherever they are any place in your life that has been chained and tied right now in Jesus name I command those gates be open be open, be open, be open, be open by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Chains, chains, be broken. Ushers, please. Chains, be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains, be broken. Be broken. Kalapatoshaya. Release their destinies outside. The Holy Ghost is touching people outside. I see a wind of fire touching people by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Every enchantment, every enchantment, every witchcraft against the lives of people, against destinies, you must go now. Mr. Man, lift your hands. This man, lift your hands. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that your breakthrough begins this night. Right now, receive that anointing. Receive that anointing right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them out. I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity, we have to be very fast because I want to focus on barren people right now. Charity, charity, charity. Charity. I'm hearing the name Charity. Charity. The Lord wants to bring breakthrough for Charity. The second overflow. There are two people God is touching there. The second overflow. I see the anointing coming on two people. The overflow, the roadside. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Something is going to happen here. Now, ushers, I want you to be sensitive. I'm going to pray for certain people. You will have to help them. The grace for speed, listen, is going to come on some people. Physically, they will find themselves trying to run, help them. So that it's not like they won't be able to control themselves. It's a prophetic act by the spirit so that they don't enjoy anybody. Lord, in the name of Jesus, guys, be sensitive, please. In the name, help them, please. It's already happening. That's the instruction God is giving me. 
an anointing will come on you physically you will begin to demonstrate your breakthrough right now lord i release that anointing give men speed give men speed give men speed 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 by the power of the holy ghost give men speed run like elijah help them run like elijah help her help her run like elijah run like elijah grace for speed i release it i release it from my spirit i release it grace for speed no more stagnation no more retrogression run with the grace of elijah overtake the chariots of ahas hallelujah charity charity are you married the lord wants to give you two miracles huh number one god wants to settle you maritally do you believe that yes sir huh yes sir second what are you doing i just finished school i'm a graduate now huh i'm a graduate now you are a graduate yes, sir. i'm looking at you and i'm seeing abuja huh yes sir abuja yes what is abuja i have a fiance you have somebody there yes sir. that's the person to marry you okay, did you sir. tell me no sir did you tell me no. that's what i'm telling you i'm looking at you i said god will settle you amen. maritally amen. Huh? and then god will give you a job amen. supernatural job amen. because it's your desire amen. god will give you a job amen. the lord is saying i should prophesy to you i'm opening a new chapter over your life the past uh -uh. your future has to change it, the, what the past is is not a good testimony and the lord is saying i'm giving you a new chapter a new chapter come my dear in the name of jesus god is giving you a job may he connect you maritally huh is your name charity is your name charity in the name of jesus christ i pray for you delay ends now delay ends now i pray for your auntie let there be a miracle in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i minister to one more case before i pray i want to pray specifically for barren people i'm going to pray that before we we'll do a lot of other things before we call the sick out thank god there are many hands today and so we're able to do a very quick walk ladies when i count three just shout i receive don't worry follow me and do my stupid thing are you ready now one two three there is an opening there is an opening in the realm of the spirit there is an opening in the realm of the spirit many people are entering it i see it is a door breakthrough there is an opening in the realm of the spirit there is an opening in the realm of the spirit shalom jehovah shalom shalom you're mighty in this place. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. You welcome in this place. Shalom. I tell you, if, if God would open your eyes to see the breakthroughs that I see been released to people in the realm of the spirit doors strange doors i told you there is grace for increase there is grace for increase there is grace for increase the language tonight is more 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 there is more more anointing more grace more unction more wisdom there is more 
there is more in the name of jesus hallelujah please drop your hands the lord is leading me to pray for brothers lift your hands you'll be surprised to see what will happen to you now The Lord wants to release grace for establishment. Listen, there is such an anointing. Don't be foolish. Receive it. Receive it with all your spirit. There is a spirit, especially in this side of the north. Men get established very late. Very late. Very late. You make money late. You build a house late. It's a bad spirit. God wants to release something. Those online, you can follow. I want to pray. I, I see this thing falling on many men Jesus it is your word you have released this word I put authority upon this prophecy and I declare let it enter like an arrow into the life of men right now take it receive that grace right now receive it in the name of Jesus at the count of three one two three take it now take it now help them grace grace strange establishment doors opening doors opening in their own accord help them doors opening i put you in a platform spiritually where you experience speed and establishment in the name of jesus help them please so they don't enjoy themselves my god be established be established be established be established. I lose your hands. I untie your hands. Every brother here, I untie your hands. Be established by the Spirit. Be established by the Spirit. Go and buy that land by the Spirit. Go and build that house by the Spirit. I open strange doors. Don't say you are too young. It's an anointing. It's not your effort. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now leave those who are standing here very quickly. If you are here specifically, please listen. You are here specifically trusting God to stamp the feet of Satan in your family over the issue of children. You know, God announced beginning of October that the theme for this miracle service, you've had the testimonies. Please don't say they have prayed for me before. Don't allow that unbelief destroy you. Are we together? While you are coming, there is a lady who will shout under the anointing. It is the grace that will release this grace for fruitfulness. It's a loud shout. It will be loud enough for everyone to hear. By the Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we give you praise. That's the shout there. That's the shout by the spirit. There is an anointing to pray for the barren. Come, please. All those, whether man, woman, if you are married, look, don't come out here if you are not married. Why are they here? Why are they all here? You must be married. Except if you are standing in for someone. Don't stand here doubting. There is an anointing. I see a river. Some of you, as you are standing right now, the power of God will come on you. Just before I even start praying. Look at this. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? Sing one minute and sing it from your heart. Will you open up the gate? The gate. Open up the door. For you by myself that's the instruction i will do it very fast you don't have to tell me any stories i don't care what they said low spam count um infertility i don't care the report as you receive that touch if you are standing for someone call them let them know you are praying for them 
are we together now don't just say i receive and then you stand there let the people know what god is doing i'll have to do this very fast after that we'll pray for the sick generally we have a lot to do don't lose touch of this don't come for koinonia and then sit down this is not a museum let your heart be connected because there are different things happening in the realm of the spirit i'm going to be very fast i'm seeing listen i'm seeing something like a bird is jumping out of a lady now one person here i don't know who that person is but the lord is asking that until that happens like a bird that's what i'm seeing father in the name of jesus who is that person let there be that miracle right now it's like something will just leave you just leave you just leave you and release you and release you by the power of the holy spirit now as i pray for you many of you strange things will happen some of you are standing for other people but as i pray for you god is securing something in your life you don't have to come out please if you do not belong to this category that's the lady i'm talking about now i'll pray quickly just give us um uh, uh, keys just play something very quickly father in the name of jesus let everyone here return with a miracle child No matter what the spirit is, no matter what the issue is, fibroid, infertility, low sperm count, whatever, I don't care what the name is, it must live right now. In the name of Jesus, please shift very quickly. As I lay my hands on you, it is done. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Receive that grace. Now, go and carry your miracle child. Madam, carry your miracle baby. Carry it now. Carry it now. My God, I tell you, I see babies literally in the realm of the spirit. Carry it now. Carry it now. Shabaratosia. Carry it right now. Carry it right now. Miracle. 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 Shatadadabalana. Regete, get, get, There is an unusual grace here. There is an unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. Unusual grace. As I lay my hands on you, it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Heal now. Open up the gates in the name of Jesus. Grace, grace, grace. Shabalalabalalaba. Rekete kete. Embroto koto balalabalaba. Shabalalabalaba. Grace, grace, grace. Help them, please. Let's save time. Grace, receive your miracle, baby. My God, my God, testimonies, wombs opening, fertility be restored. Receive it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Take it, take it, take it, take it in the name of Jesus. 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 Return with the miracle child. 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 No barrenness. Out. Out now. Release her now. Now. Out. Out of her. Return with your child. Miracles. 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 In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing twins in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is showing me twins. Somebody is carrying twins. Out. Let her go now. I command that spirit. Release her in the name of Jesus. Release her right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let it be open. In the name of Jesus. Grace. 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 Grace, Grace. Take it, 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 take it
The Lord is healing irregular menstruation. Irregular menstruation for one woman is being healed right now so that you can carry your baby. Receive your child out, out of her. Now, 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost, let her go now. Keep praying in the spirit, don't just watch miracles, miracles. anointing you. Receive that anointing now. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grace, grace, grace. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace for you. Grace, 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 grace. Open. Open now. Open now. I see a womb that is closed. Open now. Shaka baradoka toka I want a woman to come up. Yes. I'm seeing a woman who is pregnant. You have been having nightmares. Somebody comes to you in the night. You have you even wake up shouting. You've not been able to sleep. There is a pregnant woman here with that situation. God wants to set you free. Please, where are you? If you care for you can come and God will set you free right now. You are pregnant, but I'm seeing you having very bad dreams. Like a nightmare. Madam, look at me. You are standing for yourself, for someone. Ah, hallelujah. Kai, I'm seeing something that is not nice. I need to pray for a lady here. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know if you have the courage. If you have the courage, I can pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family. Something like a living thing. It almost looks like a physical living thing, like a worm or like a snake. Literally comes out of your private part. It comes out and goes back. This is like a, a living, a real object. Please, who is that? I have to pray for you. Like I said, if you have the courage, there's nothing to be ashamed. What, who is this one? Why is she here? Coughing out? No, no, no. Don't bring her. In Jesus' name, you're okay. Come. In Jesus' name, it is done. The Lord sets you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I need to pray for that lady. Honestly, this is a serious thing. In fact, it's not just one. I'm seeing two of you. Come and stand here. Something, it looks like a worm, but it's bigger than it. You see it. It comes out and goes back on its own. Who is that? You're the one? God bless you for your courage. Can you celebrate her? Don't be afraid. See, look, let me tell you. This is... This is like a spiritual hospital. So this is not a place. Immediately I saw it. Even me, I honestly, I, my body was doing me one kind, but I thought you have to say it. this is bad. It's like a doctor. Madam, Kai, and you love God. Oh. Don't be afraid. Huh? Do you know this thing? Where are you from? The 
because I'm looking at you, you are supposed to be a very great woman. I look at you and I see somebody. Ah, this is strange. I'm seeing, let me show you what I'm seeing. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing witchcraft from Delta State. I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing a white woman. I'm seeing a white woman, but I'm seeing you. And the Lord is telling me that you speak like a white woman. That's the vision that I'm saying. Say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I didn't know that. Look at me. My dear, look at me. Because I'm seeing this. You look far, far, far older than your age. Somebody even see you and say, Mommy, there's no mommy anything. You need prayers because you too, are you married? You are trusting God for a life partner. It's even why you came here. Look at this. The devil is a liar. See, I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of the waster that will want your life to keep going without achievement. I'm praying for you now. May that devil live your life forever in the name of Jesus. The spirit of a waster lives your life forever in the name of Jesus. I use her as a point of contact. This is a nice woman. She didn't bargain for this and she loves God. Are you seeing that now? Who knows? Probably you were trained by white men. She speaks very intelligently, but everything grounded. Hold my hand, man. To a point that, that do you know what it means? Another object, did you plant an object in your body? Comes out through you at will, goes back at will. For those of you who think witchcraft is not real, you are joking. You are watching one right now. Not pile, oh. I'm not talking of pile. Hold my hands, man. I'm angry in my spirit. In the name of the Lord God that I serve, I speak to you from the depth of my spirit. Right now, I command that devil, let her go now. Out! Out! In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on your stomach. I command that wicked spirit, whatever your name is, don't only leave her, pack your load with you and go out of this woman's life. I restore you even physiologically. In the name of Jesus Christ, this old face is not your own. You are not that old. I change it in the name of Jesus Christ. Help her. Give Jesus praise. Father, thank you. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. Supernatural miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. It's over. Over in the name of Jesus. Over in the name of Jesus. It's over in the name of Jesus. There's one mama here. The anointing of the spirit is going to come upon you for praying for barren people. There's one mama here. I'm seeing in a vision. The power of God will land on you. You, you may not even be expecting it. Not everybody. This, this is an, like an elderly woman. But I'm seeing an anointing. Right now, wherever you are, Father, something will land. It's like fire. It will land on one mama now. Supernatural grace. You will start laying hands on the sick. Oh, that's the woman there. Help her. Help her, please. Bring her here. Supernatural anointing. Supernatural anointing for the for barrenness. Look at this. Look at this. This is an elderly woman, for God's sake. Shera tabaroto koto baradia, lembra bata tatso kedia, ekara takata latotia. Father, take her to that level. I stand upon this apostolic and prophetic grace, and I bring you to that realm. Release miracles to women in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, please help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural. Supernatural. Daddy. Why is he here? Why is our daddy here? Who brought him out? You came on your own, sir? For barrenness? You? Where is your wife, sir? She's here, but I can't locate her now. Madam, come. You will see a man like, hold my hand, sir. You will see a man like this and think he has a child. You have a child? 
You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Yes. How old are you, sir? Don't be embarrassed. You are 57. You will still have your child. Where is your wife? <laughs> wife? Is she here? Is the wife here? She's not here. You are not sure. She's around here. You are sure she's around? Yes. Madam, if you are around, please, I want to pray for you and your husband. Otherwise, um, we can just pray and continue, please. So that we don't waste time. In the name of Jesus Christ, supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. You can imagine the kind of oppression. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Supernatural grace. Your wife is not here. She's not coming out. Or is she under the anointing? Huh? Whose name? Maybe she doesn't want to come out. I hope she's not. She's here. What's her name, sir? Esther. Esther Atuluku. Please, you have had your name, madam. That's your husband calling you. Can you rush, please, so that we save time? Is she here? Is she outside? Otherwise, I'll just pray for him, please, so that we'll save time. There's a lot to do. Daddy, how long have you been married, sir? 32 years. 32 years. If you ever tell me wickedness is not real, if you ever tell me wickedness is not real, our daddy's children would have been married now with their own children. Ejimi, am I correct? Look at this. Abraham waited 25 years. Our daddy has waited 32 years. Sir, you came here by faith. You are our father here. And you did not feel embarrassed to come out and stand here. Look at me, sir. I want you to look at my eyes so that you will know that I'm the one that has told you. In the name of Jesus, I don't care whether your wife has passed menopause or not. I don't care whether she can give birth or not. I decree to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hand, sir. You will not have a child. You will have children. Listen, sir. I'm not saying God told me to tell you. I am telling you. There is something called a prophet's reward. In the name that is above all names, I speak over your life. That force of darkness that has vowed that you will not have continuity, I cancel it right now. Sir, you are struggling financially. I have to pray for you. God wants to open a door for you. I, I hope you are not embarrassed sir, that I'm talking to you. Please hold my hands. Jesus, please change our daddy's story. Let 32 years of barrenness come to an end now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now, please, we are going to be very fast. You are here for yourself. You are not married. You are standing for something. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural miracle. Now, we are going to be very fast. You can see it's past nine, but there are so many things we need to do. We are going to do two things at the same time. All those who are here trusting God for any miracle, any miracle aside from barrenness, except if you have another thing, I don't care what it is. Please, you are going to come. There are men of God here who are going to lay hands on you very quickly. It's a miracle service. Now, look at this. I want you to organize yourself. Uh, those outside, hold on, please, hold on overflow two just walk right to the front you don't have to come here overflow two. the whole of those occupying the roadside just walk right to the front of your your stage there overflow one here just walk right to the front here all those who are here you can just come out come out organize yourself you are sick or you are standing in for people jesus listen if you are standing here for impartation, go back, please. Please, please, don't make a fool of yourself. We are going to pray for you. I know some of you just want me to touch you. There's nothing wrong with you. Don't play games with God. Go back to your seat. You will receive impartation. Some of you, there's nothing wrong. You just want in case, if there's something, I should still pray. Go back. Please, we don't have that time. Are we together now? I'm not joking, please. There is no time. Huh? So, those outside... Just obey instructions, please. Some of you think I have to be the one to touch you. That's unbelief. I, I spent time talking about faith here. Yeah. Just walk outside, stand there, overflow. Look at how many people, Pastor, for God's sake. Look at this. Look at how many people. Huh? 
almost everybody look at standing for somebody the devil wants to destroy people have you noticed that in the last one month there's been an outbreak of mysterious sicknesses someone will just get up in the morning and you cannot preach again that devil is a liar in the name of jesus and i also understand there's been mysterious accidents you are minding your business car will jam you bike will jam you we are going to take care of all those things today it's called a miracle service now this is what will happen please and please anybody who lays hands on you just go back to your seat believing in faith we don't have time to take testimonies i know there are so many miracles if we do that we're going to spend time here there are other things we need to do are we together now so i will pray for you you can see there are so many people uh let's do it this way pastor pete is with me here so um pastor pete ah no edgy you know what edgy pastor femi you can go outside you can just handle that that one there pastor alpha pastor alpha kenny and um mike please you handle that one benga you will join here me him and pastor edgy and you and who you and pastor femi yes we are not just i don't think just because you are a pastor don't look at me i'm walking by the spirit i don't have to call you are not playing games this is not about ministry there is grace are we together pastor alpha please outside kenny mike promise where's promise join a jimmy promise femi and and pastor jimmy outside please just guide them protocol they, so that don't waylay anybody. Please behave yourself. Don't disturb anybody. I'm here with Pastor Pete Benga. We're going to pray. In the name that is above all names, shout amen. amen. Father, we're standing in unity from three different points. You have anointed this ministry to be a supernatural ministry and bring healing and miracles to your people. Lord, every man of God represented here as we lay hands on your people it doesn't matter what the situation is let there be healing let there be deliverance in the name of jesus christ as we minister to you any spirit that is at work in your life must be casted out in the name of jesus christ please guys we have to be very fast so that we'll save time pastor sir thank you so much worship help us please we'll be very fast now all those sitting and around those online just connect by faith there's nobody touching you physically but the Holy Ghost is there. He's representing us and he will touch you. While that is happening concurrently, please, your miracle, um, uh, your prayer request, pass it, ushers, if you can connect yourself. I know that there are not many of you protocol. You can help them, please. Pass your prayer request. If someone sent a text to you now, you can copy it quickly, please. Pass your prayer request. While laying hands on you, if they give you a prophetic word, receive it. Please, guys, don't waste time on one person. Let's just do it fast. Jesus will give you praise. I have no other God but you. Now, by the I have no other God but you. Right now. as they pray for you just quietly go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat check yourself
please make sure you sub make sure you're submitting your prayer requests make sure you're submitting your prayer requests and then when they pray for you you don't have to go back to another line once they pray for you i'd like you to believe you will see god is doing miracles Your prayer requests. I exempted Pastor Jakes for a reason. 
the Lord gave me a word and then I'm going to give him and um, are we together now? Praise the Lord. There is an anointing that is going to release upon you now before before we come to pray. I know there are people, how far have we gone, those outside? There's still a number of people. Okay, rise up on your feet, please, quickly. Jakes. The Lord gave me an instruction to tell him to speak prophetically and release an anointing and a grace. Honestly, I don't know what anointing it is, but I want you to believe something heavy will come upon your life. Are you hearing me? Those outside, whether you are joining the line, they can still be praying for you while you receive this. It's going to be a very quick one. And then, um, ushers, please, let's have the request so that we can finish it because I, I'm still going to speak in your life and there will be some activations. Bless you, sir. Just lift up your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is no one like you, Jesus. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. servants of God, there will be a quickening, quickening, an awakening, a flame is being set upon many now, upon many, upon your tongue, I see fire, I see fire, the Lord puts a word in season for you, fire, some of my worship people here, the Lord will place upon you an unction for worship a strong unction David down the Lord is going to be placing upon you an anointing an anointing it will come upon you pare sufre tinda ilo si predia rekito fiesta kila handa ha ora ke te supelenda pragadose rekete ga baka kokosho ke palagana renda pa freia so palenda ha Resa profilesa kalionde para soko palagada. I feel like the fire of God moving upon the ground. It will come upon the feet of many now. Upon the feet of many, the fire of God will come upon your feet. The fire of God will burn your feet. There's a fire a quickening. My God. Palio friesa kiata laronte barus ikateli.
Tonight the Lord will open up portals for many as you sleep tonight. <laughs> Some of you have an experience of seeing a ladder as angels will ascend and descend bringing messages to you. Tonight, 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 tonight by the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. By the power of God's Holy Ghost. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are standing here in the midst of Yeah, I sense the Lord's presence. <laughs> Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. hurry up while the other ministers are busy ministering to the people outside we are going to pray on the request now Pastor Pete is going to lead us Pastor Sajex please help me since you are the only one here we are praying for your request I want you to believe God stretch your hands over this place and I want you to begin to pray in the spirit everybody stretch your hands you are praying in the spirit we may not be able to minister directly to everyone but I want you to believe that God will touch you. Don't just stand watching. Make sure you pray. Stretch your hands. Those online, I want you to know that your requests are with us. We are laying hands by faith also. Those online, you are part of this. Stretch your hands right now as we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father in your divine wisdom. When you wanted to communicate to us the mysteries of your will. Lord you wrote it down for us to read. In the same vein oh God. Your sons and your daughters gathered across the nations. Those that are here. Those that are across the world. From the internet. They have written their own requests, understanding the mystery of the scribes. That whatever is written has a spiritual significance. Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we release the angels that respond to the prayers of men. The angels in Revelation chapter 8 that burn those prayers as incense and they ascend to the throne room of God. Right now, by the power of God, let those angels move swiftly in the name of Jesus. An angel appeared unto Daniel and said, I have come because of your word. 
Father, let angels respond according to this request. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Nothing here written will go back unanswered. We prophesy in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the prayer of a righteous man availed much. Father, we are on our knees on this mountain, at this altar, bringing this request before the throne room of God. And the Bible says, he that goeth before the throne boldly shall come back, O God, with results and answers, and the grace and the mercies of God shall be released. Right now, we release grace. And Lord, we release mercy. In the name of Jesus. Every prayer written in this ground, upon this mountain, it is answered in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Aside from those that are still praying for peace, everybody rise up. Please rise up quickly. Rise up to receive a prophecy and the impartation. Two things we'll do at once, just two, three minutes, and then we're done. Please make sure you wait to the end of the service so that you listen to every announcement. I want to pray. We want to, every miracle service is a platform to activate grace. You have seen certain dimensions of God, but there's more. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you and I'll join it with the prophecy. This is the second to the last miracle service for the year. So don't be careless about it. Open up your spirit. There are people here who have been crying and say, Lord, I know there can be a new dimension of grace. I have seen your hand in my life, but I want to see a greater level. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Drink of a new fountain of grace. Help him, please. Drink of a new fountain of grace. I activate the gifts of the spirit at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Step into it. Eyes be open, ears open. Receive impartations. Receive impartations. Receive grace, grace. Impartation in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. The kind of favor that you have not seen from the start of this year till now. On this mountain tonight, I invoke it upon your spirit. May that favor come upon you. I call the heavens to bear witness that you are a carrier of favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Where it has worked for others and has refused to work for you, I declare the grace that makes things work the power of performance receive it right now receive it right now in the name of Jesus everything dead in your life I don't care what and I don't care how long in the name of the one who raised from the dead I command that thing to come back to life I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands I prophesy that nothing dies in your hands Tonight, like Pastor Jake prayed, revelations of strategies from the realm of the spirit. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Receive it is coming on you. Supernatural impartation. I pray for you. Everyone here who wants to start a business, start a company, start something, any value adding platform. I prophesy upon you the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it the spirit of influence may it come upon it every student here hear me I program your spirit to rise to a new dimension in the name of Jesus on common understanding on common illumination any final year student here who it looks as if you are not going from the look of things in the name of Jesus we change it here right now believe God we change it now we change it now we change it from your faculty 
we change it from your department by the authority of the kingdom in the name of Jesus anyone here carrying any track record of bad luck it works for others until it gets to your turn then there must be stories I separate you and bad luck forever. I separate you and tragedy forever. Hallelujah. This spirit that came to Zaria that is causing men to be sick, hear my voice. There is a platform where ambassadors are in this kingdom therefore i stand apostolically and prophetically we fortify the spiritual borders of this city and we banish such operations in the name of jesus may you and your kind be banished from this city in the name of jesus that spirit that brings accident and untimely death looming around our territory no 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 zaria is a place of light it's not the place where any spirit will come and loom and i speak prophetically Latera to Sotopata. across this place every spirit of untimely death hear my voice in the name of jesus i command the gates closed over you i command the gates closed over you not by accident not by bomb blast the gate closes over you everything that has left your hand that left your life that should not have left i don't care where it went to i call it back may it gather its kind and come to you i say it again everything that has left your life has left your hand may it gather its kind and return back to you listen anyone here who the devil has taunted spiritually financially in influence you are not rising for whatever reason in the name of jesus i force you to rise in the name of Jesus, I force you to grow. If there is anybody in this place, from January till now, you have not stood here to testify, I prophesy to you, now and the next 30 days, may it be your turn to stand here. Believe me, believe me, now and the next 30 days, may you stand here to testify anyone here called jobless or you are doing a job that is not a job any nonsense thing around that is not bringing you tangible sizable benefit in the name of jesus i don't know where the jobs are we create vacancies and put you there we create vacancies and put you there Any man or woman who said over his dead body for you to succeed, I declare their prayers answered tonight. I declare their prayers answered tonight. I pray for you. Listen, there is a mantle of honor upon this house. And if you belong to this family, it should be evident in your life. And in case it's not yet working, like a programming in a computer, like an antivirus, I place that mantle of honor upon you. May it shield you from shame. May it, may it shield you from shame. Hallelujah. Every spiritual life that has died here, no more passion for the things of God no more passion for prayer no more passion for the word of God I plant in you a fresh passion tonight fresh passion tonight we're rounding up every family represented here 
that has not had a reason to smile this year it's been tears and tears from home every time they call you from home one episode of bad luck may this be the first good news you will hear good news of breakthrough good news of increase good news of speed in the name of Jesus Christ whoever rises up to find you may the God that I serve even in the secret may he fight them we're rounding up I pray for you barrenness or its kind looming around your life looming around your environment whether in your body whether in your finances whether in the works of your hands in your ministry in your business I pray for you the water that flows that makes the barren plant to receive strength and begin to rise and become a great tree I introduce that water into your life therefore I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus be fruitful be fruitful multiply multiply replenish subdue and may you command absolute dominion absolute dominion help them please every strange nightmare strangers roaming around your sleep not allowing you to enjoy the sleep that the saints should enjoy disturbing you oppressing you sleeping with you manipulating your dreams confusing you you don't know whether it's god speaking or it's the devil in the name of jesus i banish those strangers from your life forever i banish those strangers from your life forever in the name of jesus christ and i pray finally for you there is a spirit of increase there is a spirit that causes men to prosper there is a mantle that brings wealth from the east the north the south you have the value but you need the access you have the value already you are not a non-entity you already have what to give but the other side of the exchange is what you are looking for from the east to the west to the north to the south whoever must show up in your life in the next 30 days to be a ladder for you to climb to the next level i prophesy and i call them into your destiny i prophesy and i call them into your destiny there's someone here god is giving you a word go and register a company and just keep it you may not know what to do with it but just keep it keep it and give god space to use it and surprise you that's a prophetic word for somebody here just register it and keep it you there is no business to source for don't worry register it and keep it and give god space to surprise you may that happen to you in the name of jesus christ every circle of continual suffering where you think you are about to rise up another episode of trouble i declare where the devil put a comma i change it to a full stop never again never again never again in the name of jesus christ you're here you need jesus you're saying man of god i have watched the things that the holy spirit has done i have seen the transformation keep standing please no sitting no moving around let's stand up please keep standing you're here and you're saying apostle i want you to pray for me i love jesus christ but for some reason my life has gone haywire. I cannot say that I'm truly enjoying relationship and fellowship with him. And there are others who are saying, man of God, this is the first time. I've always mocked at the things of God. I've never really been serious. But now, I'm making up my mind for Jesus. Overflow 1, overflow 2, all following us online. Wherever you are, I know that our time is gone, but let's honor Jesus. 
We cannot end this meeting without giving this opportunity. Wherever you are, don't wait for anybody to come. Be the first. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here. I want to lead you to Jesus. Jesus is already talking to some people. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. There are people outside. Run like there's fire on the mountain. Don't stroll around. Run like there's fire on the mountain. One. I'll count one to five and that will be it. Two. Lord, I give you my life. Three. Please, we're out of time. Run. Run to Jesus. I live for you. A fresh start, a new beginning. Will you have your way? I give you my heart. I give you my soul. Hallelujah. If you are still coming, please rush and join them. It should not take a long time. If you are still indecisive, then just remain at your seat. By now you should know where you stand. When the Titanic sank, there were only two lists. Those who were saved, those who were lost. If you are not sure you are saved, come out and join them. Because it means that you are not, you are not saved. You should be very sure. If you are a man of God, it's like, I think I'm saved. Come and join them and get a very uh, a, a high level of certainty to know that you are in Christ. In the name of Jesus. I appreciate everyone. Daddy, thank you for coming. And all those who have come to make this decision. Please understand you are not reciting a poem. Don't be emotional about it. This is a simple decision, but it's the greatest miracle. You are opening up your heart to the life of God. The Bible says, and this life is in his son. It says, he that hath the son hath eternal life. Say this after me with all your heart and sincerely say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart tonight I come to you and I declare that you receive my life and manage it for me I receive your life into my spirit I declare that from today Jesus is my Lord my savior my friend and my king i declare that satan has no power over my life i'm a child of god i'm born again in the name of jesus christ father i stretch my hands towards these great precious people bless them let this decision be genuine and let this be the beginning of great days in their lives i anoint you with grace I command that you begin to see the faithfulness and the goodness of God in the land of the living. I plant in you like a virus, a hunger for the things of God. And I declare that it will override every other passion in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you for this great decision that you have made. Now hold on please. I want you to do two things for me. Number one, the Bible says, they that be planted in the house of the Lord, it says they shall flourish in the courts of our God. Visiting the house of God is not the key to consistency. You must settle down and receive the word. Our prayer meetings are Tuesdays, except for this week, we're making a little adjustment. I'm going to bring an announcement on that shortly. But you can be part of it for at least one month so that you can build your spiritual life. And then I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll have your details and then they'll warmly follow you up on our behalf and the lord will bless you in jesus name please this way all of you god bless you god bless you in jesus name koinonia are you appreciating them dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless Check our homepage for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye! Pray! Pray! Pray for your destiny! the phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.